Well, hello there. I'm Dr. Albert Chung, and I am your friendly proctologist. Thank you so much for being with me today. I'm a board certified colon and rectal surgeon in Southern California, USA, and I want to give you real helpful information, right? What's the point of scouring the internet when nothing applies to you or the information is bland and generic, right? And I give you the same stuff I talk to people about in my clinic. Today's topic is about talking about routine and how important it is and how to build one to build a soft poop in your toilet 90 to 95% of the time, which I think is the most important part about giving your anus the environment it needs. Before we get into that, if you're interested in a consultation with me, please go ahead and email me at yourfriendlyproctologist at gmail.com. I've been getting a lot of great feedback and I hope to help you, especially if you can't see a specialist, you don't have a specialist in your area, or you're looking for another opinion. So let's get to it. When I think about the word routine, it's almost like an idealistic word, right? Like Dr. Chong, there's no way I can duplicate something exactly the same every single day. And I totally agree with you. You know, the weather changes every day. Your kids may wake up at 4 a.m. instead of 8 a.m. Um, you eat something different, you go travel somewhere. And so those things are of course, of course, have to be accounted for, which is why I say we want to try and establish some set of practices, some habits that give us 90 to 95% soft poop in the toilet. Because that five to 10% yeah, you know, we got to give ourselves a little bit of a break. We're going to have some failures. We're going to have some poops that aren't so great. And, but, 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 that routine is going to allow us to prevent a lot of mishaps. So prevent us from having hard or loose stools much more than we would without the routine. And also get us back to healing faster because our routine gives us the environment, gives the anus the environment it needs to heal and therefore we can move on with our lives and not have our anus be so annoying all the time. Another thing is the body thrives on routine, right? When we give the body the same exact thing every single day, think about just your sleeping pattern. If you sleep at the same exact time, you don't need an alarm clock anymore to wake up. It just wakes up on its own. And that's what the body thrives on. When you change time zones, when you're doing different things every day and it's not routine, your body sees that as a form of stress and you get tired, you get emotional, all those things. So for our digestive system and our anus, for we want to try and build this regularity. So this blueprint that we're about to draw is mainly for our diet and how to achieve soft stools. And the first thing we want to talk about is what foods we want to eat. What's the, going to be the foundation of this blueprint? And guess what? I'm not going to be preaching here about, oh, you should have tons of fiber, high fiber diet with more supplementation. No. In fact, I don't think that there is such a diet that works for everybody. You will find there are millions and millions and billions and trillions of people that absolutely hate fiber, absolutely hate it. You know, they may get enough in their diet, but if it's not that 25 to 30 grams, the doctor thinks you failed and that's your fault that you're still suffering with your hemorrhoids. No, that is completely, completely false. The doctors, unfortunately, are not listening to their patients because I will tell you, I can't tell you how many people have told me fiber sucks. And I will tell you, I will tell you that too much fiber really, really, really sucks. And in fact, it gives me fissures and hemorrhoid issues. So, okay, the diet you want to think about is you want to sit and really think consider this okay it's a diet that you feel is healthy aligns with your customs aligns with your family and friends and you feel good about food is a very emotional thing we don't want to underestimate that once we get a diet that we feel that we can keep for the next five years okay we don't want to be flip-flopping diets or train changing things around really crazy if the poop is soft, don't mess with it. Yeah, don't touch it. Why add more stuff to it like fiber if it is working perfectly for you, okay? And what is a soft poop in my opinion? Soft poop is a range. We got looser end of soft, which is like frozen yogurt. And then we have the firmer end of soft, which is like 
a shape it's got shape to it but ideally has no cracks in it okay it's very smooth like freshly paved concrete you can have one or two cracks it's probably still gonna be in the soft side but once you get more cracks you're gonna see that there's more lumpiness to it and therefore you're getting firm and more hard so now let's talk about scenarios where your poop is very loose or like diarrhea and watery yes i think fiber is a very good idea to bulk up your poop specifically the insoluble fibers that's the one that really gives your poop some size here the next thing is if your poop is very hard then we want to soften it right and there's lots of ways to do it the natural ways are more water throughout the day or fiber supplementation so again notice i just poo pooed on fiber but fiber can be helpful for some people the key here is find what's right for you and experiment try a little bit out try a teaspoon of fiber a day with your meals so it mixes with the food that's going to turn into your poop one day the next things after fiber if that doesn't work for you are stool softening medications and the ones that i recommend because they've been studied to be safe are colace or docusate the 100 milligram pill miralax powder or magnesium citrate all of these can be experimented with i recommend that you try one at a time so if fiber and water don't work fine drop it go to the next one go to colace and docusate if that doesn't work move up to the next higher power which is miralax or magnesium citrate and experiment with the amount. Maybe try one quarter of a cap full of Miralax or a pill of magnesium citrate or one or two pills of docusate. And you can try them out with breakfast or dinner, maybe one pill at breakfast, one pill at dinner time. And you can see that there is no magic formula for this. It's if it works for two days, great. But try and wait a few days so you can see the result. And if the result is not quite softening enough for you, then you may need to add another stool softening agent or pill. When you build a good blueprint for your routine, that is where healing begins for your anus. About 98% of people that come into my office do not have that routine settled down yet. And of course, everybody's scenario is different. Not everybody can figure out themselves. That's why you have people like me to talk to, right? But that is where you want to begin all your efforts, okay? So there's lots of things to try and do for your hemorrhoids and fissures, but figuring out how to get 90, 95% of your poops to be soft, that's where you're gonna find most of your relief. And then definitely see a specialist to try and get some more medications if needed or other therapy if needed. So I hope this video was very helpful for you to start from the basics, get your sanity back, get your emotional stability back and try to let this anus calm down and leave you alone for once, right? And so I wish you the best. I hope your bottom end issues are getting better and are, these videos are helpful. You take care, bye-bye.